Assalamu alaikum ladies and gentlemen uh, today I'm just uh, going to present about a relay which is called differential relay and which is used for the protection of a particular area or a particular system so for the instance here we have the circle and uh, here is our uh, three phase source or three phase circuit breaker which will be executed or actuated by this subsystem which is actually our differential relay then we have over here is a uh, three phase measurement and the output of the current is going to this system because it is operate on uh, differential uh, current same as over here so actually we are just trying to protect this three phase transformer uh, the, the actually the parameters of uh, every block is uh, will be given into the uh, download file but here I'm just trying uh, will uh, try to demonstrate about this transformer as it's taking uh, 11 kV on its uh, primary winding and 33 kV on its secondary winding. So what's gonna have happen with it? I will tell you in a minute. And here we have actually three faults. One fault is out of the uh, area over here. And second fault is al also out of area from here. In this case is the relay, the differential relay with keep is working, but as far as if we, uh, induce a fault into the system area into the particular area which is protected then the uh, a signal will be generated and the circuit breaker will trip off or get open so let, let's get into the system or this uh, actually differential relay so here we have actually the rms discrete so here we are just trying to compare these two values in a differential relay we know if there are any differential uh, values in the current uh, there will be a leakage current which will be flowed from here so after that we are just uh, subtracting now the question is why we are using three over here as i told you earlier that uh, the secondary winding of the transformer is actually 33 kv so we are just uh, trying to balance the voltages or uh, no sorry not the voltages but the current which are getting in the line 1 in the form of 11 kVA and then the 3, 3 kVA the purpose of multiplying 3 over here is as we are increasing the voltages on the secondary side the current will become less in the transformer so to make equal that uh, secondary current to the primary uh, current we will just multiply it by 3 factor of 3 so for example the amount of uh, Current entering from here and then it's getting suppressed from here at, at least we are in in, in uh, fault free state we are getting zero over here so for the instance we have zero over here and we have a constant of two over here as we know that that uh, zero is not greater than two and we are just getting zero as the output this zero output is entering into the r and then as is already r then according to the truth table of rs flip-flop we look at if we have s is equal to zero and r is equal to zero then our q will be zero and q dash will be one sorry here we have uh initially q is equal to one and then we have s is equal to zero and r is equal to zero or we have uh q is equal to one and q dash is equal to zero and we are here actually just uh terminating that zero and just uh, interested in getting one and then this output is one and because of that the relay will be closed and if any disturbance occur or there is a change in current of primary and secondary there will be some value which is generated over here and when that value crosses uh, two we will get zero over here and eventually what's gonna happen these circuit breakers will get open over here for protecting the system and uh, now it is time to run the simulation and to see the answers over here so actually i'm just doing one e to the minus 0 0.5 uh, sorry 5 to see the exact output now you have just opened the current waveform over here and as you can see the normal control flow in the number of fault was occurred from 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 and then the current is flowing normally so there is no 
uh, problem or the relay haven't occurred, uh, haven't actuated because there was an external fault over here and here. So let's change this fault to zero again, and now I will just induce an internal fault near the transformer and see how it protects it. So I will just add uh, one over here, one mean fault from uh, 0 0.2 to 0 .0, uh, 0 0.02 to 0 0.05. And hit OK and then again run the simulation. Now let's open the uh, current scope and I will see as the fault is occurred at 0 0.02. The relay operated and there is no output current passing through the transformer and transformer is now saved because both of the circle breaker got a signal to open. So that was the modeling of uh, differential relay in my Arabic accent. Uh, take care, have a nice day.